Different today's version of Christianity is distorting the gospel of Christ. Whenever you say that you need to obey Jesus, if we are going to say that we need to be obedient, they will start accusing you and telling you that you are saving yourself by your own works. This is the lie of the devil, dear friends. He wants you to believe the lie. He wants you to believe that all you need to do is just confess Jesus and believe only in your heart, and then you will be saved. The devil is a liar. In reality, dear friends, we need to strive hard and make every effort to enter through the narrow gate. Jesus says, many will try and few will be able. Now, when you say that to some, they will say, well, we don't need to do anything because Jesus did it all. We only have to rest in him now. So how do we make it fit? If Jesus, in one place, he says, come to me, all you who labor, and I will give you rest. But in another verse, he says, strive hard. Which one is it? Do we have to strive hard or do we rest? This can only be explained if we see it from a spiritual perspective. To have the Holy Spirit, brothers, is freedom. And when we walk in that spirit, we are resting in Christ. But whenever we lose the fellowship of the spirit, if we spend a lot of time without prayer, if we go about doing our own things, if we go back to the world, then we will have to crucify the flesh again in order to go back to the presence of God and abide in Christ, have the Spirit. We need to call on the name of the Lord consistently. It is a daily dying to ourselves. This, dear brothers, this crucifying of the flesh, this daily dying to ourselves, this is the striving that we need to do in order to rest in Christ. So it is both at the same time. The people who live in the Spirit will understand what I'm saying because these things are spiritual and they are spiritually discerned. The people today that go to these churches will swallow the lies of the devil that tells them that they don't need to be obedient. It is because they want to satisfy their own flesh. It is because the flesh is still mastering them. We cannot live in the spirit and at the same time live in the flesh. We have to choose. Either we crucify the flesh and live in the spirit, or if we continue living in the flesh, we will not be able to live in the spirit of Christ. We need to decide who we're going to follow. We cannot have two masters. Either the devil will be our master or God himself. Do not believe the lies, dear brothers. Do not believe these churches. Do not believe the counterfeit gospel that tells you that you don't need to obey Christ. Judgment will depend on our obedience. Holiness and righteousness are not optional. We need to obey Jesus Christ. We need to follow him in righteousness and holiness. And we need to endure until the end to be saved. And may God bless you.